from England to America, and just one little ship. Okay, my first friends. Penelope. Ready? Go. I am a little tail of grass. Well, let's try it again and let's get everybody else on. Ready? We talk about being shy. This is not a time to be shy. Should they be shy, guess? No. no! Okay, here we go, friends. Ready? Go. I'm a pilgrim woman, mercy me, dancing black and frail as can be. Or my little romance will have no fear. I'll keep you safe when I am near. Mercy me, I'm as strong as can be. Mercy me, I'm as strong as can be. Thank you. And that ship that they sailed on was called the Mayflower. And it was snug and warm. It kept those pilgrims safe and sound through every wind and storm. My next friends, Hayes, yeah. ready and sing. Let's go sailing over the ocean sea. We'll search for land until we find a place where we'll be free. In the Mayflower, we'll search to find a Mercy me, let's sail on the sea. Mercy me, let's sail on the sea. But after lots and lots of weeks of sailing on the sea, they finally sight the land that made them as happy as can be. The land they saw was Plymouth Rock. It was on the Massachusetts Bay. And they decided right then and there, that's where they wanted to stay. Everyone, one, two, Pilgrim, pilgrim, what do you see? I see land, mercy me. Pilgrim, pilgrim, what do you say? Let's stop our ship on the rock on the bay. Well, of course, there was lots of work to do to be settled in, but each and every pilgrim was eager to begin. And they were lucky, for it wasn't been long until they met a very friendly Indian whose name was Sand or set. Yeah. <clears throat> Ready? One little, two little, three little Indians, four little, five little, six little Indians, seven little, eight little, nine little Indians, come to save the day. Nice, Now, Sam Set and his Indian friends were kind and good. <laughs> tried to help the pilgrims out in every way they could. That spring, they even helped in clearing land and planting seed, so the pilgrims would be sure to have all the food they'd need. Okay, nicely done. Ready? Thank you, friends. Ready? Sing. Inch by inch, row by row, we're gonna make our garden. Those pilgrims kept as busy as they could be. They were tending to growing their crops so very carefully. And then, when it finally came time for harvesting the fall, they found to their delight that there was lots and lots for all. Of course, they were excited that they had such great success, and they planned a celebration just to show their thankfulness. They thought that they'd fix a dinner that could really be delicious, where there'd be a huge amount of everyone's favorite dishes. But they didn't really feel that the food was all their own, for they knew without the Indians, it never would have grown. And so they asked their special friends if they would join in the fun, and Sam said, and all the others said that they would gladly go. For days ahead, the pilgrims started getting things all set to make sure that there was nothing that they could possibly forget. Then when that big day came, they set the tables up so, then they spotted all the fruit, and it was really quite a show. 